Terry Kim. You guys want to come up with some kids? All right. There he is. He's the man of the hour. His name is Sean McDermott, 42 years old, born in Omaha, Nebraska. He has now signed a five-year contract to become the new head coach of the Buffalo Bills. He becomes the 20th head coach of this team since Ralph Wilson set up this professional football team here back in about 1971. He attended the College of William and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. He's been a defensive coordinator and secondary coach with the Eagles for a couple of years, and he went to the Panthers as the defensive coordinator there. Um, very articulate, has just spoken to the media. Uh, for about half an hour now, we have our reporters, Jeff Russo and our sports director, Joe B., out at One Bills Drive. Well, men, what do you think? Well, hello, Keith. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, yeah, Sean McDermott speaking to the Buffalo media really for the first time since being uh, named the 20th head coach in franchise history. Big thing that came up today, the 17-year playoff drought. Fans really starving for success here, the fan base for the Buffalo Bills. And Sean McDermott yeah, today, this stuck this out way. to me, Every, said he's hungry, will not shy away left. from it. He knows what success okay. tastes like, tasting and getting near and getting in two Super Bowls. What did you make of this today, Joe? Well, you know, I think what Sean McDermott really wants wanted to stress here was that he understood what it what it took from a work perspective and he's never really shied away from hard work that was one of his biggest talking points of the day and I think that will resonate quite well with Bill's fans in particular when you talk about you know uh, it being a bit of a blue-collar town and, and you know uh, being very relatable in that sense so I think he did well in that sense but you know he understands that this 17 yard drought is very much a part of what is happening here at one Bill's drive and and he even said it himself you know when it when it came to the playoffs and the Super Bowl he's seen it he's tasted it he's he's uh, smelt it I believe right, the three, exactly. three things he said so you know I, I think McDermott understands the task at hand and he's certainly not going to shy he wants away to it. bring that success right. here to Western New York and to the Buffalo Bills a lot of questions coming into this one Joe in terms of the search process in terms of the breakdown of the chain of command here at one Bills drive it became pretty clear early on one of the big questions who does Sean McDermott report to how does Doug Whaley get involved Involved. What did you make of all that today? Well, the big news of this, sort of, at least from that perspective, is that Sean McDermott reports directly to Terry and Kim Pagula, the owners of the team, which is a little bit different from the Sabres side of things, the other professional franchise that they own, in that uh, the coach of that team, Dan Bilesma, reports to the general manager, to Murray, and then they go to ownership. So this is a little bit of a different structure here. So GM Doug Whaley and both Sean McDermott will report to the ownership, but they still have their own responsibilities. Doug Whaley will maintain control of the 53-man roster, which was a big question heading into this mm -hmm. too. I mean, all all of those all of those uh, questions that we're talking about uh, about whether or not they're going to keep Tyrod Taylor, they have to work together to be able to come to a consensus. And you know, Tyrod is a big discussion to have because they don't really have any other options at quarterback. So that's that's something that they kind of have to work together with. But ultimately, it's Doug Whaley's call, and and they have to run it through the owner. That that was uh, one of the big questions today. As you take a look right now at some of the all-time greats for the Buffalo Bills, Thurman Thomas, Jim Kelly, Steve Tasker, all here addressing the media about this hire. This is the fourth time that the Bills have hosted an introductory press conference for a new head coach since back in 2010. You talk about looking back, holy cow, Chan Gailey, Doug Marone, Rex Wyan just two years ago, and today, Sean McDermott. So, the, you know, the all-time greats, just like the Buffalo Bills fans, are really starved for some success here for the Buffalo Bills. They hope that Sean McDermott uh, is going to be the guy for for that job of course we'll hear from them as our coverage continues today but always uh, interesting to hear what they uh, they have to say about the history of this franchise about just how long it has been since the the team has been to the playoffs and I thought it was interesting to hear today about Sean McDermott and we, if you could read about it but to hear him talk about just how meticulous he is mm -hmm. in terms of game planning what type of coach he is with the players what did you make about that today Joe because to me that is worlds apart from what we had in terms of Rex Ryan <laughs> yeah who was just let go just a couple weeks ago you know the, the one soundbite I think that's going to be played over and over again is Sean McDermott going, I'm not really that big into making right. promises. And <laughs> yeah. that is a clear and distinct change from Rex Ryan. But, you know, him being him being meticulous and what uh, what take what it takes to kind of do this thing. That's what he's done. He's been a defensive coordinator through the past eight seasons. I mean, he's seen some good head coaches in his time being with Andy Reid uh, with Philadelphia for a long time. And then with Ron Rivera, who is kept at Carolina for quite some time, he knows what it takes and he knows the hard work that has to be put into it and he's had a lot of success as, de as a defensive coordinator so 
that part of it, the hard work, I mean, it is so essential. And, you know, even talking with some of the reporters that covered him in in Carolina, you know, Joe Person from the Charlotte, Charlotte Observer said, you know, he had a coach, uh, a couch in his office and, yeah. and he was not afraid to spend a night to sleep there, even if it ticked off his, uh, his wife his and children family, a little right. bit. So, I mean, he is no stranger to hard work. And I think that's a distinct change, like you pointed out. I think he made an impression with the fans today when he came out and said, this is our type of town. And I think we have uh, a little bit of his uh, his reaction to that uh, from early on in the news conference just about 20 minutes ago. Can we play that? When you, when you talk about a fan base, I've been up here and I've played here before, and I've seen those fans, uh, capacity crowd hanging over that railing, screaming when, we're, when we were trying to do something on the other sideline. And, and that's what I want to be a part of. Um, that's what it's all about. And, uh, and, and I, I look forward to creating and recreating that again at our stadium. So there you go, building a winning culture here at One Bills Drive. Bills have not been to the playoffs. Uh, we've talked about it so so much, right? Uh, it's an NFL long uh, playoff drought, 17 years and Professional counting. sports long. Yeah, 17 years <laughs> yes. and counting. And Sean McDermott not shying away from that, ready to embrace that as they move forward with the Buffalo Bills. Keith. Jeff, I'm just curious what you and Joe personally think. I mean, he, to me, this guy seems to be a very stand-up, straightforward guy. And I'm thinking about the differences between this news conference much more subdued than the news conference we had two years ago when the Pagulas introduced Mr. Ryan. I, I'll tell you, Keith, and that's a very good question. I think I, I like the fact that he seems that he's all about business, right? Yeah. He's right down to business. You hear about the research he does, the studying he does, how meticulous he is in every aspect of the game. To bring that to a team that at sometimes under Rex Ryan lacked focus, I think they can really benefit from that. I think in a lot of places, Joe, they have the talent on this team to be successful. Quarterback, he had a question mark. That's a Correct. big question yep. mark, and he may be hamstrung by, th by that. But overall, I like his approach. I like what he had to say today, and I like a lot of his answers this afternoon. His first impression to me, I thought was pretty good. Yeah, I agree, and it's refreshing in the sense that, you know, we always talk about what the team needs and, and what they need out of a head coach, and it's usually what people want is the exact opposite of what, you know, was just there with right. the previous head coach, and, and that seems to be the case here with, with Sean McDermott. So I, I really think that, uh, uh, that McDermott here has a good approach to this thing. Will he be successful? Will he know how to use his time well enough, efficiently enough to be able to help build a winner, to help change the culture here, which was a major, major buzzword for him and for the fan base, too, because a lot of people think that things need to change here. It's very hard to tell. I mean, yeah. he's a rookie head coach, right? Oh, yeah. Tons of experience, great track record, great resume, but very hard to tell exactly what he can do as a rookie head coach. But he made it clear today, and we want to play this sound for you, he has been there. He has tasted success. He has been to two Super Bowls. He knows what it's all about, and he wants to bring it here to Western New York. Within that, I've gone to two Super Bowls. I know what that looks like, smells like, and tastes like. Um, and so, you know, I feel extremely confident uh, with my ability to lead this franchise moving forward. All right, so there you go. Sean McDermott has been there, has tasted it, has been around it before. How do you bring that to one Bills drive? I think in a lot of places, you got to start with the defense, right, yeah. Joe? The defense, I think, let this team down last year on several occasions. Offensively, they could use some more consistency, but it was the defense that really let them down, ultimately led to them moving away from Rex Ryan. This is a guy with a great track record on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, he wouldn't confirm it today, but it's bringing in another veteran coach for his defensive coordinator and Leslie Frazier. You would think that they'd be able to get things going uh, on the defensive side of the ball and really get things turned around with, this, with the people that they have here. Yeah, and he wouldn't commit to what type of defense he would play. You know, primarily he's ran a defense that was different from the one Rex Ryan ran. But, you know, you know the Bills actually have a better uh, personnel for the defense that he actually runs. So I think that, that'll go pretty smoothly. But all in all, it just really depends on how his message kind of gets across to the players because really it got to a point here where you know you have Sammy Watkins at the end of the season saying you know we meet we need more discipline we need more accountability we need to not you know look at the other team and think oh we're playing Antonio Brown and Ben Roethlisberger this week they need to be that team and I think you know just from the attitude that you kind of sense from Sean McDermott is that he is not ready to let that uh, let the attitude that was just here about just being happy to be there and seeing these other guys play I mean that is not going to be the case with the Bills anymore if he has any 
say it. Says he's not about making promises, about going out there and getting it done on the field, and that remains to be seen. Sean McDermott, the 20th head coach in Buffalo Bills franchise history. Keith? All right, gentlemen, we'll check back with you. Don't go anywhere. We have